In this video, we'll try to use Windows 8.1 in 2025. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Windows 8 or 8.1, but I'll flip a coin. If it landed on heads, I'll just go Windows 8. But if it landed on tails, I'll go Windows 8.1. Alright, 3, 2, 1. Tails! Okay, let's go Windows 8.1. Windows 8.1 was released on August 27, 2013, which is 12 years ago, and ended support on January 10, 2023. But how usable is this 12-year-old operating system today? Well, we're about to find out, but before that, thank you all for 500 subscribers. You're helping us build the biggest tech community in the world. So consider liking and subscribing to my channel, make this YouTube channel grow even more. Now back to our video. As always, I'm gonna be installing Windows 8.1 on this trusty old HP computer that I used before in my previous videos. Here are its specs. A Core 2 Duo, 4 gigs of RAM, 120GB SSD and 500GB hard drive. I'm also gonna be installing 8.1 using this trusty old Kingston 32GB USB flash drive that ran through different versions of Windows, from Windows XP to Windows 7 to Windows 11. I start by creating the Windows 8.1 installation USB by copying all the ISO files onto the USB flash drive without using any software, but I also made another partition for Windows 8.1 so I won't lose Windows 10. So let's restart our computer and then go ahead to the Windows 8.1 setup. After the restart, I mashed the F9 key several times to access the boot menu, and in the boot menu, I chose USB device and then press enter. Here's the Windows 8.1 installation product key. Nothing too noteworthy here, just going through the Windows 8.1 installation, so I'll skip ahead a bit. The first thing I noticed about the Windows 8.1 out of box experience is that this color bar slider is looking really cool, and I continue setting up the PC like normal, the best thing that it doesn't beg for a Microsoft account like Windows 11. After the setup, I went to the desktop and installed some basic programs and drivers and all this kind of stuff. And after these are installed, you can finally experience the full startup test. Let's talk about why Windows 8.1 was hated. Force Touch First Design The Metro or modern user interface was optimized for tablets but alienated traditional PC users who rely on keyboards and mice. Remove Start Menu The removal of the familiar Start Menu in Windows 8 and subsequent full screen Start Menu in 8.1 were major pain points as users found them difficult to navigate. Clunky Navigation Navigating the operating system became confusing with users having to use less intuitive gestures or move their mouse to a screen corner to activate charms and menus. Confusing hybrid interface The introduction of two distinct types of applications, modern desktop and traditional, created the disjointed user experience, forcing users to switch between vastly different interfaces. Bloat and performance Some users felt the operating system was bloated and performed worse than its predecessor, Windows 7. Inconsistent experience Mouse and keyboard users felt like secondary citizens, as they had to adapt to touchscreen-centric navigation methods for everyday tasks. And here's a reminder to subscribe to my channel. 
Let's talk about the Windows 8.1 features. Windows 8.1 brought back the beloved start menu, which includes the feature of booting straight into the desktop, unlike its predecessor Windows 8. Windows 8.1 introduced the Bing powered search engine into the start menu. This means you can search for things onto the internet from start. Windows 8.1 now has customizable lifestyles. Yeah, customizable lifestyles. This means you can add apps into the lifestyle menus, and you can even resize them, and you can even name groups. And this was a super common feature that was even available in Windows 10, until Microsoft abandoned it in 2021 with Windows 11. The new and improved Windows Store, which is the Microsoft Store today, and this lets you download, install apps and games onto your Windows computer, just like it's an Android phone or an iPhone. Unfortunately, mine is not working because it's been out of service long ago. And finally, the settings app, which has the new modern UI, but same settings like previous versions of Windows. And to the final main point of the video, is Windows 8.1 still usable in 2025? Yes. If you don't care about this big touchscreen UI and you want to use it on your desktop, but if you use it on a tablet, that's okay. But actually, I don't recommend using it. Stick to something older like Windows 7 or something more common like Windows 10 or 11. And that concludes for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Sorry if this video was a lot worse and shorter than the Windows Vista one. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.